I want to invite Mr. Salifu Abdul Latif Yakubu to read his valedictory speech. But before he does that, I just want to give you a small profile on him. Mr. Salifu Abdul Latif Yakubu was born on the 26th of December 1990 in Tolon in the northern region of Ghana. His parents are peasant farmers. He gained admission to Tamale Senior High School, popularly known as Tamasco, in 2012 to pursue general science program under a scholarship from an American philanthropist who unfortunately passed on while, when he was in his second year. This led Salifu to do all manner of odd jobs just to keep him, help him pay his fees. He successfully completed in 2015 with aggregate 11 in the West African Senior High School Certificate Examination. Whilst in Tamasco, he rose to become the chief imam in 2014 and was the president of the school's science club. In November 2016, he was offered admission to MIST to read BSc in civil engineering. Throughout his stay, he remained calm, disciplined, and was very studious, knowing his background. He is currently doing his national service with Urban Roads in Tamale. Salifu loves reading and watching documentary movies. He has a passion for mathematics and hopes to pursue civil engineering to the highest level if he gets the opportunity. Today, Salifu Abdul Latif Yakubo is graduating with first class and a cumulative weighted average of 83.29 out of a total of 100. Now to my palm. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, the Council Chairman, the President of the Madina Institute of Science and Technology, the Registrar, members of Convocation, graduating class of 2020, parents, ladies, and gentlemen. I'm very much elated and proud to stand before you at this August occasion to deliver the valedictory speech on behalf of my colleague graduates and on behalf of those who are unavoid unavoidably absent. I am Salifu Abdul Latif Yaakubu, a proud old Tamaskan, like His Excellency Alaji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. First of all, permit me to express my gratitude to the Almighty Allah for granting me this unique opportunity. We thank Him for the divine care and guidance. We thank Him for the divine care and guidance and His care in taking us through this trying times of global pandemic. Parents, ladies and gentlemen, join me in applauding our pioneers, the graduating class of 2021. The first day we stepped on this campus, we came with different aspirations and expectations. We all started off extremely overjoyed with the idea of an opportunity of acquiring a university education. But the excitement and euphoria suddenly drifted into the wilderness when we soon learned that the, the journey was never meant to be a smooth ride. 
Nevertheless, we managed to pluck the strings of history with our determination, beat the drums of hope in the silence on campus, and with our unique relentlessness. And with this harmonious combination, we are witnessing this great honor today. To our achievements, generations will sing praises forever. It was a Herculean task. Nonetheless, we persevered and endured and managed to sail through successfully. So learn from these experiences patience in managing your future challenges. But be rest assured that if you fail to be patient, life itself will never fail to present more challenges. As the saying goes in Arabic, لا تستغرب إن أعادت الحياة عليك نفس الدرس فإنك من رفض أن يتعلم Don't be surprised if life brings back the same lessons to you because you failed to learn a lesson earlier. For those of us still owing, myself included, we all management and unqualified apology and sincere gratitude at the same time for coping with our genuine inability to pay. For their kindness, we owe them a resounding applause. In the same vein, I humbly call on us as a matter of agency to service our debts to the school as much as possible and fulfill our bargain. On this campus, we made families, not friends. We were always ready to lean our shoulders forward, our shoulders forward for our colleagues to find solace in. We even organized tutorials for our friends, for which I was nicknamed the TA. I am sure this move was informed by selflessness and altruism. We should not die as we live here. Consequently, we should always be compassionate and ready to stretch out a hand of support to each other and anyone else whenever we can. We are grateful to our lecturers for their rigorous academic training you put us through. You modeled and positioned us for greatness in the future. You, 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 we promised never to let you down. Special gratitude to Dr. Rabia to Ama for your, our mother on campus. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> your support during our trying times was efficacious and heartfelt. Thanks to, Dr. Thanks to Dr. Hafiz Amadou because, because of him, we now know so many things that you can't do in Malaysia, by extension in Ghana. <laughs> Thanks to the class of 2020 for not provoking the lioness in Madame Rita. For some of us, the burden of having unflinching natural curiosity for mathematics and knowledge acquisition is that the more you know, the more you want to know. Education has no age limit. The only limit to education is the decision not to enroll. But if you do, everything will naturally fall into place. Ewin Shuela said, and I quote, leaders can't rely on precedent. Instead, they must rely on wisdom, unquote. Medina Institute of Science and Technology is where you learn and lead everywhere. So believe in yourselves and go out there and lead with wisdom. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you. May Anna invite Mr. Idris Nabali to read out the academic prizes. Happy students, unique every day.